guys, there's literally five days left to get entered into the truck plus $15,000 cash giveaway. And we just restocked on our most popular item, the carbon wallet, but now it is new and improved with a brand new logo. And we got red flake, we got white flake, and we got blue flake, and we even got the dry carbon. These suckers are absolutely insane. And you know what? These suckers are a thousand entries of pop. So you don't want to miss out on this opportunity of a lifetime. This giveaway is almost over and one lucky winner is going to take it home along with $15,000 cash. So be sure to visit goonsquad.com, check out all the official rules, copy some gear, and get automatically entered. Look underneath. Ah, oh, man. What? what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are here at the new goon squad garage and today we're going to continue working on the 2021 ford bronco wild track as you guys seen in the previous video we finally finished up all the paintwork i gotta say that sucker turned out absolutely slicker than ever and we started throwing on our aftermarket fenders and dude give them a glance from that side don't show them that decal right there we're gonna show you guys that later but dude that sucker is looking aggressive with the hood the bumper this whole entire front end is dude, looking meaner than ever I'm dude i'm telling you dude i'm so glad we went with this kit dude it's looking so amazing that hood is on point dude dude it looks better than any bronco i have ever seen right there but of course we're gonna do a few more things to the exterior just to finish it up but a lot of aftermarket stuff is still on the way and there is a few things that are here so we're just going to kind of work with what we got but the main focus of today is definitely going to be the interior right here because look at this huge mess dude we got to put that interior together as much as we possibly can and we did mention about the seat leather kit right yeah, that we, we got, got a dude? custom leather kit for the seats that should be in this week sometime it's going to definitely transform exactly this so we're just going to put as much as we possibly can and kind of avoid i guess messing with the seats too much or we can put them in as well yeah, dude. put them in dude. Who Use knows? Them. <laughs> exactly but also we are going to finish up that quarter panel we got one more uh, fender that's going to go right there and a few little pieces in the rear like a tail light a few little trim pieces here and there and the exterior is basically going to be done dude. dude done other than you know tires that we might get 37s yes. for this thing just 100 just to make this thing stand out dude make it sit right and all that good stuff but dude overall this project is almost finished up a couple more videos and we're going to be test ripping this sucker maybe take it out into the mountains or dude, something i'm dude. telling you we got to crawl dude lockers front and rear it's exactly. insane exactly but right now first thing we're gonna do is probably run to the dealership they got a bunch of interior pieces that we haven't picked up yet like airbags or whatnot we're gonna run there scoop everything up get back over here and get straight to work What? Is it working? I think so. Dude! Oh my gosh, if this works right now, guys, we're pausing the Bronco build and we're getting back onto this sucker, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, so the key just randomly appeared and we're gonna see if this sucker is gonna fire up because this has been an anticipation, most anticipated thing ever. running man dude right here pops oh my gosh no coolant in it look at that dude this is sick dude seven. we're looking for oil first dude are you kidding me dude that's it man dude huge is... shout out to dennis and Vision Exotics, Real Life Exotics, they all attempted, they worked so hard. They worked together, dude. They worked together, yes, exactly, sir. and they finally got it. So Dennis from, um, I forget his business's name, but you know what, he's gonna actually fly down eventually. Dude, so. he's the Tesla guy, dude. He knows what he's doing, Dennis dude. the Tesla guy, that's what we'll call him, but dude. Huge, huge right that's there. Huge. We're gonna have to start getting that thing together here soon, We got dude. a full exhaust for it, dude. We dude. can test drive this sucker. We can lift, let, let the airbags lift up and everything. We can, we can do, do whatever. Anything, we need to go ahead and just finish the little things that we got on this thing and probably jump on this thing, dude.
Alrighty guys, so check this out. The rear end is looking better than ever. We decided to just kind of just throw on this quarter panel right here instead of jumping into the interior. Although we did open some parts up, got that on, got this side together, the tail light, everything, got this little piece right here. I don't know what you call that, but it's like an extension. It looks so good, dude. It looks way better now. I mean, the rear end is pretty much complete other than of course the rear bumper that we're still kind of waiting on, but it's going to be here either like today, tomorrow, or maybe in the next day. You know that, I mean? That's true. Yeah, we're going to definitely catapult that rear bumper because we got a sweet one that's going to match up the front but look at that decal right there dude, dude that decal is super sweet and i think i want to put it on there at first this decal was supposed to go on the wrapped bronco you know with that tan color but i really love this this gives it that old school look you know that it just that retro super, it's yeah. retro style and i think it gives it a little bit more character almost like makes it pop out a lot more dude it just gives it like some lines some body lines to look at and especially with these fenders i think that'll go dude, really good looks pretty thing. sick dude but that's pretty much it for the rear end right here the rest is just going to be interior stuff and you ended up ordering some food right man, i'm starving man but you know what i just tried this local uh crab place i think it's crab legs shrimp crab i don't know what i ordered i, I recommended this to him it's like a hundred dollar plate so there's i think there's, there's a lobster king, tail there's king crab in here dude i'm telling you it's the best crab you're gonna ever have dude this these two little plates right here a hundred dollars dude Golly, that's insane. you gotta celebrate every once in a while dude, since, <laughs> dude since we started since the year we started dude, the year this is a celebration right Dude, dude. <laughs> we're, I guess you're gonna eat right quick. I'm gonna probably grill like. Some. Do you, <laughs> you eat steak? You want right? to share it? No, dude, unless you share half a steak. No, yeah, I'll we share. can share. I got a All steak right. because I'm trying <laughs> to still stick to that carnivore diet. But we'll see. I'm gonna. Gr we're gonna fire the grill up, get some food in our belly, and we'll keep working, Let's dude. Do it. Alrighty guys, so check this out. We basically got the interior thrown together as much as we possibly could. And I gotta say that looks absolutely amazing. Got the airbags in, the seats, and the seat belts, of course, safety restore, got them completely rebuilt. Got the SRS module in, everything is looking really good in there. Of course, we still haven't thrown in the seat airbags because we got that leather kit, so we're just gonna leave that for later. Same for the rear seats, we're just gonna leave that for later as well because they gotta come out. But dude, looking pretty good. This interior is super easy to work with compared to that Lamborghini Urus, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm just remembering that stuff. I no, dude. dude, that was probably the most difficult one. This thing, man, this thing just slaps together, dude. Dude, it's like literally one big old panel for that back section. You just slap it on, clip it in, no problems whatsoever. So that's pretty much it for the interior. And of course, you guys seen where we slapped on this decal right here, this retro style thing. And I gotta say, dude, that looks pretty sick, but I don't know. Let us know what you guys think about that, dude. dude I know, dude. So we didn't do it on the other side just to see what it looks like, but this just makes the Bronco stand out like a little bit more. And then when you come to this side, it's clean. It's just clean, you no, know, it's just one clean. color. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but you know what this definitely gives it a little bit more character more detail but i guess we'll just let 
let, let's see what you guys think about For that. For sure, dude. But right now, what we're going to do is actually run to the tire shop. Yesterday, we ordered some absolute monster tires for this thing. They're pretty big. They're 37s, and they're nice and just, like, grippy. They got some beautiful tread. We're going to go scoop that up, and then we're going to probably toss them on these wheels. And we actually ordered some new wheels, so we might switch it up a little bit, but we're going to see what it looks like with these wheels as yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the new wheels are going to come in in a couple days, and also spacers, like we mentioned. So yes. when they come in, we'll throw all that on, and it'll look good Just have well. it ready to go. So right now, we're going to go ahead and pick up the tires, and then we're going to get back over here and start cracking open some aftermarket parts. Beadlock, look, you put that tire in that groove. Now it actually looks like a Bronco, it dude. It does, exactly, dude, with these beautiful, super aggressive tires right here. They're called Maxxis Razor MTs, dude. That's the best decision we've ever made for dude, this Bronco, I'm dude. I'm telling you, these things look absolutely... 47s is the perfect size 37s. Right here. 37s. 37s. <laughs> 47s. What am I saying? 40s would be crazy, dude, but I don't think these axles can handle it. But no, sir, dude. dude. 37s, insane. Definitely makes this thing sit just right. It finally looks proportionate and stuff like that. And we did figure out that these things things these wheels are actually beadlock bead lock capable so all you got to do is buy the beadlock ring that actually has more holes behind there that way it holds everything in place which that's like eight hundred dollars from ford that ford actually sells the beadlock ring so these are capable but i think some better wheels would look yeah we're gonna nicer. go with a little bit something with a little bit more style these are definitely more for like doing things yeah i mean they look good but you know what some better wheels aftermarket wheels always look better maybe not black maybe do like a gunmetal or dude, something dude definitely dude this side is looking sick but as for this side dude i honestly like this side a little bit better dude look at that I'm telling dude. You, dude whenever you look on that side and then you come on this side everybody's just like wow dude that stripe actually looks good in person like a lot of people have said that and it actually looks amazing dude it gives it that little pop but the most important thing dude look at this man Ooh, dude that is perfect because with these 37s it definitely lifted up the whole bronco a couple inches and it's just harder to get inside so we got some rough country dude, side rough, steps. rough country e-boards dude those e are amazing super easy to install slap those suckers together and got this thing looking right and it covers all that ugly pinch weld and stuff like that kind of gives it that clean dude, black look right there, dude, dude i absolutely love that and we got a bunch of other rough country aftermarket parts yep. but i don't know if we're gonna get to that dude i think we're done with the bronco for today just because we got that Euro started, dude, dude. We gotta go ahead and drop it off those dollies that we've had on that thing ever since we got it. So drop it off the dollies. Probably first go get some coolant because it's low on coolant and then probably do its very first test drive. Dude, dude. I agree. Let's do it. Thank you. 
Alrighty guys, we are back at the Lamborghini Urus once again and we're basically just gonna see what's going on on the interior now when you have the key. You know what I, I mean? mean? This is crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this button right here. Everything finally turns on how it's supposed wow, to. You can finally dude. control everything, dude. Exactly. And actually when you started it earlier, it did kind of lift up the rear end only. So everything is starting to work. Yeah, you know? everything's starting to work. I think the front end's gonna go up a little bit more. I think you just gotta keep get this thing moving around a little dude. bit, get it started a few times. Put the coolant in because it, you know, it was low on coolant from us taking a few things apart. But dude, this thing is ready to do its first little test. Dude, drive. I love seeing these screens on the screens on our hair this is all touch screen so that's pretty dang sick right there so i'm gonna hop to the back right quick you're gonna fire it up give them a little cold start with the original exhaust before we swap it out Big here very road. soon all right i'm going to the back go ahead and fire it Honestly, for a stock exhaust, sounds pretty dang amazing. Not bad, not bad. Wow. Fans are kicking in in the front. What kind of lights do we got on here, dude? Is it Christmas right now? This thing's making some weird thing moved around a little bit. I think Pops is shaking it. He's scaring you. Spain pranks. See if it'll go into reverse. Let it warm up a little bit. Let it warm up yeah, a hair. warm up. No fuel at all. Oh, man. Somebody sucked the fuel out no of it, fuel, dude. No fuel, zero. <laughs> Woo! Open it up. Got a little bit of black smoke coming out the back, like a diesel or something. A little bit of black smoke coming out the back. This might be a diesel. Uh, a little bit uh, more than half. Yeah. <laughs> Come on back. You are good. Wow, look at those reverse lights. That looks pretty sweet. The front tires are so sticky, dude. Super sticky, man. Wow, this is an all-wheel drive. What? Dude, these speakers lift up. No way! I was like, what is that? They just lift it up. That's crazy. Dude, look at that! <laughs> that looks so funny, I but didn't that's even epic, think that dude. was possible. Those speakers actually just lift up when they're motorized. That looks so funny, but that's epic right there. I'm gonna spot you out on this side. Oh my goodness, that front end. You're good. Now just go straight. One headlight is not working. <laughs> oh my god. Get him, Chief. Get him. I think the alignment is probably off. The alignment is definitely pretty badly off. But the tires are also very sticky. But we didn't really mess with the alignment too much, you know what I mean? That's what I was wondering, but it is, it's its definitely off. So how do you go back into drive? You just press this? Yeah, I think you just hit the paddle one time. I just did that. No, really. Um, you gonna try to launch it right quick? I was just gonna drive forward. Huh. I'm not well, sure. that's weird. I think you're supposed to just hit the paddle, just like the, the Huracan. It doesn't do nothing. Gear Mount D function. can only be selected with M button. So. Uh, it just goes in reverse. Oh no. Hey, how do you Maybe go? something needs to be reset. Stock, That's what I'm saying, dude. Imagine what it's gonna sound like when it, with an exhaust dude, on it's it. Gonna dude. Scream, dude. It's, it's gonna, gonna scream, dude. It's gonna crackle, for dude, sure, for sure. Dude. Hey, just trying to figure out why won't it go in the drive? It goes into reverse. It goes into park. Maybe it's in like tow mode or something. Whoa, sunroof works. That's pretty dang cool right there. Dang, that means we put a few things together correctly, dude. Yeah, for sure, dude. I mean, that's awesome. Finally, that thing is working. We can finally see how everything's functioning. Still trying to figure it out. I mean, we did hit that little switch right there to just put it in neutral, the yeah. transmission. That just puts the whole transmission in neutral manually, like when the car is like in an accident or something and like somebody's that. Somebody's trying to tow it or something. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's it's back in the drive. It just keeps saying that right there, which dude, is weird. It could be a fuse. It could be all sorts of things. It could be a sensor. Who knows? Or it just needs a reset. Yeah. Yeah, or dude. reset needs the codes cleared and stuff like that so we may talk to a few people see what we can come up with check this out guys we're going forwards dude dude that is crazy what'd you figure out dude? dude i was just messing with it and all you have to do it was saying to hold the m button in order to put it into drive 
and I was just holding it down and it just went to gear one and now it can go ripping, dude. Dude, that's awesome. I wish we can go down the road, but there's a few things that we gotta tire up underneath yeah, it. I don't know if we'll go down the road in this video. We definitely gotta make sure everything's 100%. A bunch of stuff, like show them underneath, dude. Dude, all types of stuff hanging. We got wires everywhere and just a few things that we gotta button up before we go ripping this thing around. But it's driving. This is our first trench drive. Go ahead, pull it up. Let's see. Oh my goodness. And we got this thing lifted all the way up, dude. Let me see. Dang, where did you put it in? Which that mode? That thing is Terra mode right there, dude. It won't go into neutral for some reason, though. Uh, hold them hold him together. Shift to park. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I guess you just got to shift it to park instead of actually putting it in neutral and Let stuff like that. Let me go ahead like and put it into park. Our airbag blew up, dude. No way. Yeah, that's a new one that we put in there too. Oh my I just God. missed it though on camera, man. Dang, that was crazy. I thought the wheel flew off or no, something. No, it was the airbag literally just burst. Oh my goodness. Wow, dude. <laughs> Dang. So much for a test drive, but you know what? Hey, we're getting somewhere. We're just driving it around, dude. It started, you know what I mean? Hey, it's better to break down in the garage than break down on the road, right? You got right? that right. <gasps> what? Do you see something? Yeah, the whole shock is out, dude. Oh my God. How did that even happen? Did we install it wrong? That is an aftermarket shock, too. Whoa, what the what heck? What happened, dude? Did it bend our... Oh, I thought it bent our whole suspension. Wait, that shock holds, it's like instead of a coil spring, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's basically the whole suspension. So why did it just break down? We'll give it one more shot. Go slow. We're not stopping, we're not gonna let the shock stop us. Alrighty guys, so that's actually gonna be a wrap for today's video. We were thinking about still going for a little test drive, but you know what, we thought about it a little bit more and we're like, we're not gonna risk damaging anything else. We're just gonna order that airbag, allow it to come in, go ahead and work on other things. We got the exhaust, we can go ahead and finish up piecing every little bit and piece together like the windshield, few door panels, get that sucker ready for some testing. We got some epic things that we plan on doing with that thing. And as for the Bronco, we're super happy with how that sucker is turning out, dude. Super insane, like just with the wheel and tire set up, gonna change it up a little bit here and there but also we're gonna be testing that sucker out as well dude here really soon dude insane stuff is coming dude two builds are about to be finished man this is gonna be freaking exactly. epic exactly but you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned definitely drop all your comments and thoughts down below thank you guys so much for all love and support we'll catch you guys next time peace